G'day guys, here at the rugby club right now and we're about to get ready to go in and do some gym work. So it's currently 5.30, that's when gym starts and then after that we will be going down to the field and do our field work like before. I haven't taken you guys into the gym before so we'll see how it goes, but let's get moving shall we? Alright guys, so this is Jamie. What do you want? He's the one that took care of the camera last session. Yeah, it was poor work. So sorry, sorry, sorry. Shout out to Jamie. Yeah. Do I have you do it again today? I'll try my best. <laughs> well, your work <laughs> is all we need. <laughs> Don't worry about the standard, because it was just fine. <laughs> Unfortunately, I must have forgotten to set my wired mic as the microphone for these videos. So for some reason, the recording is coming from my phone. Apologies for that, we're going to have to deal with this sound quality for now. So we're starting this session with some warm-ups, focusing in on the legs. So after our stretches, we moved into some dynamic movements. As you can see, we are sharing the gym with the girls. This always happens to me, but I always get so tired just from these warm-ups. Then we moved into our gym program. Here I am doing some wall slams with the medicine ball. Three sets of six reps on each side. So the program was split up into three blocks. 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, and 3A, 3B. Right now I'm doing one of the blocks where the A exercise is the wall slams and then the B exercise are these uh, dumbbell curls into the shoulder presses. Let's win the real. The build up here, the build up. The build up. On other people. Oh, that's it. Where's your cousin in the recent game? For this block, I decided to alternate between the A and B exercises. So here I am going for my second set of the wall slams.
<laughs> uh, with my main man, Joe. Anything to say to the people? Um, if you're going to earn it, you got to eat it first. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> got to eat it before you earn it. Yeah, so that was Joel. Joel's a funny guy, so hopefully we can get him on camera again sometime soon. So here I am doing my second set of these dumbbell curls into... Oh, who's that? <laughs> Seems like Big Mike's taking this opportunity to flex on us. So yeah, here I'm doing my second set of these dumbbell curls into shoulder presses. So we were told to go until failure, but for all three sets, I just aim for 10 reps. See, Big Mike, Big Mike over here wants to be a ball. <laughs> so she moves. Oh, nickname's Onze Polo. Onze Polo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, getting back into it. Here we are doing our last set for this first block of exercises. If only my microphone was hooked up properly. Then I wouldn't have to worry about the music playing in the background so much since my microphone has some inbuilt noise cancelling. So apologies for the portions of this video that are silent. I had to mute some of these videos. There's Finn, flexing on us. And here we are, last exercise before we move on to the next block of exercises. Might be doing that one next. Now the first exercise of this second block were box jumps. For this block, instead of alternating between the two exercises, I just did all the sets for the A exercise and then I moved on to the B exercise. Bit of a wobbly one there. So for all three of these sets, just like with the first set, we're doing 10 reps. It's a wobbly one, this one. Here comes Finn to the rescue, holding the wobbly ass box while I do these box jumps. Last set of these box jumps before we move into the second exercise of this second block. <laughs> Yeah, 
Like so, 1A, 1B, 2A. Yeah. How many have you done? Just the one. Oh. Just can't do squats. I'm going to do squats and then after that, I need to do the rows and bench press. Yeah. Yeah. So the next exercise is squats. Here I am doing 70 kilos and I stick with this weight for all three sets. I'm definitely taking it easy because not only am I using a lighter weight, but I'm also not going too deep with these squats. I'm just worried about the butt wink, so I'm trying to avoid that so I can avoid the back pain. Here we go with the second set, slightly different angle so you can see a little bit better how deep I am going. And now I'm about to do the last set. I think the third set was my best set because I was able to get into a comfortable depth that wasn't too deep. Squats done. Second block of exercise is done. Oh. Not sure I have enough time to do the last block of exercises. The single arm dumbbell row and barbell French press. All done in the gym. So that means we are off to the field. And right now we are just discussing a few things as a team before we start our warm-ups. So we started with some passing drills this time instead of strength and conditioning straight away. Simple basics that we need to make sure we get right. Right now we're off camera. We're all just doing some strength and conditioning. But unfortunately, Jamie wasn't around at this moment to take care of the camera. So we're split up into three groups, doing three different drills. Here's the first drill that I did, where we're doing three V2s. Simple attack drills to help us get the ball moving. I've had to mute the audio for these videos because there was music playing in the background. Second drill was where we were going over some attack shapes that we will be using for the season. Can't show you much here, just in case there's some people spying on us from other clubs. <laughs> Our third and final drill was a tackle drill. This one was designed to help us get ready for the season because with the new rules coming in place, we had to get used to dropping our body height a lot more than usual. So with the new rules this year, we're gonna have to keep all tackles below the chest. And if we don't do this, we could actually end up getting either red carded or yellow carded, not just penalized, which is crazy, but that's the new rules. Out of all the drills, this one was probably my favorite. I did like the one before this, where we were learning our attack shapes. But with this one, I really found that it helped build my confidence, which is what the coaches were after anyway. I also feel like it's something I should work on most. 
I was pretty tired at this point, but we got to learn to push through and get the technique right even when we're tired. And after we finished our three drills, we came together as a group and split into two teams. This was our chance to put everything together that we practiced during this training session. So once we were in our two groups, we got ready to put ourselves to the test in some real game situations. I really wished that you guys were able to immerse yourself in all the yelling that was going on, but unfortunately there was still some music playing in the background. So here we are just practicing our shapes and attack while also sharpening up our discipline in defense. One thing I learned from this training session was the urgency that's needed in attack. Once one phase is finished, you need to wrap around to the other side of the field and get ready for the next phase. It's really easy to sit back and watch the pros do it on TV, but once you're in the situation yourself, only then can you understand and realize how much fitness it takes to keep up with the intensity of a game. So there I am wrapping around, trying to get ready for the next phase, but you probably can't tell how tired I am. <laughs> I don't know how long we did that for, where we were simulating a real game, but here we are wrapping things up. So cool, that's all I have to show you for today's video. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys in the next one.